All right, everybody, let's do it. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Friday edition. A football Friday edition of Morning Scone presented by Boudreaux's. Bloody Mary mix, margarita mix. Boy, it is almost here. Drew is here. Mama is almost here. He gone. Hope y'all are having an awesome morning. Man, Craig Schilling. Craig, just responded to your email. Uh, there is a new Morning Drew uh, video that has been shared. Uh, or Well, has been emailed to me, but it will be shared uh, on social media here shortly when we're done. If you missed the first Morning Drew, it's basically a super talented Craig Schilling uh, compilation video of all of Drew's interruptions of this show. Let's get started on number three. Craig, here. Alma Duck. Are you coming to sit on my lap? Yeah. Are you just coming to say hi to everybody? A poo-poo. A poo-poo? No, you don't have. This is our new game. Robert. Robert. Drew is fired up for LSU Bama. He is super duper Fresh jack. Market. Fresh market. But really go to Calandro's. Oh, speaking of which, I had to call Taylor Calandro. Uh, tomorrow, whiskey and wine. Uh, might do some product Dad, placement Dad, with something that they're interested in. Dad, Dad, Dad does wear hats, but not right now. Dad, Dad's doing his, his show. Uh, Sam Dixon. Hey, what's up, Dad? Mark Allen, Kerry Tomplay, Lori Prophet, Everett Himmel. Good morning, everybody. AJ, AJ Holland, good morning. We're hitting that case. It's really loud. Thank you. One, two. One, two, three. Uh, Craig, Joshua, Derek, what's up, man? Brandon Rishu, good morning, everybody. Tyler Hales, Brian Kling, good morning. Michael Moore, Ronnie Duga, Michael Moscone, what's up, cuz? Scott Rodrigue, Ro Brian Robert, Scone. Scone. Now, I do have to say, I took a video of Drew just a little while ago, um, strumming the guitar. What? Scone. <laughs> Is that funny? Is that kind of hilarious? Sco Ooh, let's not pull that, please. Thank you. Scone. Um, to fresh market, but really go to Calandros. That's what Drew means. They get the kids saying Calandros. Come on, man. Calandros has the best selection. And they carry Boudreaux. Bloody Mary mix, margarita mix. Y'all be sure if you're... Uh, uh, tailgating this weekend you bring some boudreaux a little taste of louisiana with i'm so fired up for today today's show is going to be awesome yesterday was great yesterday on afr had uh, rex ryan and reese davis and uh, jay barker good i mean just all awesome show today uh so full disclosure terrio was working on george w bush for the guest picker today didn't work out um and he he worked on it throughout the bye week and everything and um, had a connection that thought that we thought might actually get it done. And it was one of those things where, as I understand it, if you get on a schedule, you're in. Um, it's just, you know, they wouldn't cancel. It's just if you're on the schedule, you're in. So we worked on it. Um, or we didn't. He did. That was not me at all. It was 100% him. And he he efforted uh, and unfortunately came up uh, with, with a new. But... But um, the handful of um, the handful of backups that he mentioned yesterday, any one of them would be super impressive. And it's kind of that week, right, when you've got LSU Bama and everybody coming in for this game. I wish like I keep I keep mentioning names, y'all, of people that I know that are coming in for this. Um, and then the next, like another day passes and I hear more names and it's just like it's gonna be like like sideline at a USC game in the early two thousands when they were winning. Um, it'd be a lot of fun. Chandler Trey Dykes, what's up, Trey Dykes? Y'all go uh, holler at my boy Trey Dykes in Good Eats Kitchen. They do a great job. Prepackaged meals, awesome stuff. Healthy, restaurant quality. Good Eats Kitchen. Check them out. Coming soon on Essen on Perkins near Essen. Uh, let's see. Mark Allen, can't believe Saban uh, said what he said in public. Um, he's usually a corn cob. Very true. Um, 
Uh, so for those who missed it last night on Nick Saban's radio show, someone asked him about if they win the coin toss, would they take, would they uh, kick, would they take the ball, or would they kick? Um, and if you remember earlier in the week, so this I've told Smacker Miles she needs to tweet more. Uh, earlier in the week, she tweeted just a, an anecdote where she said, "If I, if I, if I'm LSU win the win the toss, take the ball." Um, Less two in the first half without Devin White, obviously. And then Devin White returns, start the second half. Strong stop. Momentum, you know, stop to start the second half with Devin White. Attach. And sort of attach. That's the new episode of Sesame Street he likes. Attach. Um, really? Um, so, uh, anyway, so the conversation kind of went from there. And it, it sparked a lot of conversation. Then Ed Ogeron was asked about it on his coach's show. Uh, someone said, hey, if you, you win the toss, I hope you, you'll take the ball. And Ed said something effective. I think you're going to be really happy with our decision then. Um, or you'll like our decision. And so then Saban was at, like, how many people? How many times do people ever ask about the coin toss? But I guess it's LSU Alabama when you break it down from every angle. Um, anyway, so I told Smack, I was like, you need to tweet more. Like, See, you have good thoughts. Tweet them. <laughs> get, get a following there. Uh, Craig Schilling, strong start to 3.0 poo-poo. Craig, that's his new word, man. Uh, I should say that's his new word, but this is like his new game. He'll he'll run around and they'll say, ah, poo-poo, and he'll like, he'll like hit himself on the backside. At least he's making that association, though, right, that that's where it comes from. So, uh, Brian Robert, did Drew get into your coffee? No, man, he's just a ball of energy. Like, that's what he's like all the Albertsons. And he's gone again. Jo- Joseph Clemens, good morning. Sam Bacon, uh, more to Matt and Drew one more day. No doubt. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, oh, thanks, Dad. Cool, Dad. Uh, Dad got my uh, Blantons heading my way with Mama. Yeah. Now I'll have four bottles of Blantons. Uh, ben Clark, good morning. Uh, even though you're a Santa Mall Gator. But we scored 50 on you this year, so I kind of, I don't know really think. Uh, let's see. Uh, how about that clown at the UCF game with the Bama sign? Dude, that's Michael said that. Because, for those that missed it, go if you didn't see it last night, so Central Florida played Temple. Um, at one point, Temple was winning by double digits. Central Florida winds up rallying. They win 52 to 40. But Temple out Temple put up 677 Mama. yards. Mama. Mama is coming to see you, bud. Here you go. Oh. The itsy bitsy spider. Very good, Drew. Okay. So, um uh, what was I gonna say? What are we talking about? Oh, yeah. So, so Temple puts up 677 yards and 40 points. And there's some clown at the end of the game with a We Want Bama sign. So I screenshotted Home it and, and tweeted Home it. And put it. Home Depot. If you ask Mama nicely, maybe she'll take you there. I tell you, he's coming much more verbal. Um, anyway, uh, so I screenshotted the sign, the We Want Bama sign, and I post it. You can see it. It's on my Facebook. It's on my Twitter. It's on my Instagram. Um, it's like, yo, dog, your team just gave up 40 points and 677 yards to Temple for your own good. Put down a sign, bro. Anyway, Steve Menard, Chuck Sanchez, good morning. Steve Menard, a morning from Dallas. Listening to Morning Scone while I load the car. I love it, man. Uh, ready to head to L.A. for both games this weekend. That's awesome, man. That's What a weekend. Uh, had some buddies. You know Matt Chuili at Traction? Uh, he and some buddies did a trip last weekend where they flew to Chicago in the morning, last Sunday morning. Went to the Bears um, Jets. Went to the Bears Jets in Chicago. Got on a plane, went to Minnesota, which apparently was like a 45-minute flight, and caught the Saints-Vikings Sunday night game, and then flew back. So what a day. Those, those are really cool. Um, i tell you, in 05, uh, Condon put together a bus trip where we bust from Baton Rouge to Starkville, or to Columbus. Well, actually, to Starkville. Went to the LSU-Mississippi State game. Then bus to Columbus, had dinner, slept, got up the next morning, bus to Talladega, went to the race at Talladega, then bus back to, to Baton Rouge. It's pretty cool to do, you know, a couple events in a weekend like that. And man, LSU and Saints, epicenter of the football universe this weekend. That's awesome. Uh, Hunt Palmario. What's up, Hunt Palmario? Old Hunt Palmer. 
Uh, y'all give old, old Hoon to follow there, like, or, you know, friend request or something, or on Twitter or whatever. Frank, good morning. Uh, Chandler's also in Dallas. Mark McCarter, bring Mike the Tiger in the shade. Can't do it anymore, Mike. All the, the PETA people and everything, they've nixed that uh, entirely, putting Mike the Tiger in his cage, uh, in his little trailer, and taking a lap. Um, I, uh, I've done this rant several times. Uh, I'm not happy about it. I think it should be a prerequisite if you're going to be Mike the Tiger. If you're going to live in that uh, palatial habitat with your own uh, swimming pool and trees and grassy knolls, and they're going to feed you uh, a diet, a steady diet of red meat, of raw red meat, and uh, have your own veterinary care and you know dentistry for a tiger and all. So you're going to live the life. You never have to worry about predators coming to, to, to pluck you. Um, I mean, you're going to live that beautiful life. Uh, the prerequisite to be the tiger, Mike the Tiger, is you should seven times a year or eight uh, get in that trailer and make one lap. Make one lap. Albertson. Around the field. Albertson. Hey, let me ask you a question. Fresh market. Hey, let me ask you a question. Where do you want to go today with Mama? Mama's car. Mama's car. Where are you going to go in Mama's car? Where is Mama going to take you in her car? Home Depot. Home Depot. Very good. Okay. He likes to go there. I think I've explained this to y'all. Home Depot has those uh, those carts that are like cars. You know, it's like a, uh, it's, you sit in it, you face forward, it's got the wheels for the kids. He li- he likes that. So on Fridays, Mama will take him to Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. But at least he, he's saying Home Depot, three syllables. Big block? <laughs> That's hilarious, Big Block. Uh, Josh Long and Matt goes to jail. Sound like a bad movie. Matt goes to jail. What did I go to jail for? No, I didn't go to jail. Same. Oh, no. Did I miss a bunch of comments? Russ versus Terrio. Oh, that's going to be fun today. So Russ Mitchell talked to him last night. Flew into New Orleans. Um, Russ going to the game. He'll be in studio today at 4 o'clock with Terrio. We had 103 viewers. Appreciate y'all. If y'all don't mind, hit the share button. That'd be great. And, of course, pick up some Boudreaux for this weekend. You're going to be tailgating early. Get your uh, Bloody Mary mix. Uh, Calandros, Calvin's, Alexander's, Mid City Craft Wine and Brew, Canadas. You may drink a tequila tomorrow. Get you your uh, your margarita mix as well. Let's see, Kirk. Morning. You think we should come after the first punt? Try a short field score. Um, I, I have no doubt that's going to be situational, man. And honestly, I don't know that Bama's had a punt blocked all year. The we, the weird thing is, I I think you scout things like that. To see if you have an advantage, uh, if you if you notice on special teams uh, you know, a weak link that you that your personnel can exploit, um, like the Gleason block punt, for example. If you go back and listen to the explanation, like of that play, they scouted all week, like one of the interior guys or whatever that would always have a misstep, like just how he did it, and so that's Gleason exploited it because uh, they had scouted it on film. If they see that with Bama, then then maybe they, they might be able to get there. But um, I, I don't I don't LSU's been so ineffective in the punt return game that I'd I'd actually be okay with not setting up a return if there were a situation like that and you felt like you could go get it. Uh, Mikel, good morning. Robert, uh, Chris Keller, good morning. Steve Hom, good morning from Michigan. How about that? Joe Juba, good morning. Keith Rosenbach, good morning. Craig Savo, the Roll Toads are in full onslaught invasion in New Orleans. Mama. <laughs> Mama! Mama! She'll be here in one hour. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Home Depot. And Mama will take you to Home Depot. Okay. Dax Jeter, Tony Crochet, good morning. Uh, Brian, come on. Man. Speaking of poo poo, I'll be right back. Come on, man. Brad Ellerby, are you going to the game? I'm not, actually, Brad. It's a little bit of a bummer, I know, man. But um, I, I don't know I've explained it before, but I do pregame. We, me and T-Bob go right up to kickoff. So, And then I do the postgame with Jordy. Um, if, if I leave studio and drive to campus, by the time I get through the traffic, park, walk to the stadium, get up into the press box, I'll miss the whole first quarter, man, um, at least. So, 
you know, and then if I'm going to do post game, I guess theoretically I could do post game in the stadium majority, but then it loses the whiskey and wine feel. I think he'll be in the stadium. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, so it just, you know, um, I'd love to go. I'd love to go as a fan. You know, just just have a few beers in the stadium club or something like that, and just you know, we're sneaking a little a little half pint of Crown or something like that, and or Jack actually I'd probably drink something better than that. Now, see. I always just assume like if I was bringing the flask, I'd just bring Crown or Jack or something to mix it. Now I wouldn't even do that. I'd just bring something really good in a flask and just drink something really good. A better option. Hmm. Tell how long it's been since I've done that, right? Nicholas Yiannopoulos. Yiannopoulos. Good morning. Kenny Brazan. Good morning. Stephen Miller. What's up, dude? Uh, Chris Robert. Good morning. Uh, Kenneth LeBlanc, good morning. Brad Jean, Martin Vadreen, good morning. Chuck Sanchez, cheers. What y'all think, man? Uh, AJ Holland, your dog put down the sign about blowing the coffee out my nose reading that this morning. <laughs> That's the post of the, the guy with the beat Bama sign. Y'all go check it out. Uh, and hit the share button if y'all don't mind. That's always a big help. And uh, listen to the Locked On LSU podcast. I'll go up and I'll record that this morning as soon as... Uh, Soon as we are done here, and I pass off Drew to Mama. Uh, let's see, Josh Langwa, Travis McGraw, what's up, y'all? All right, uh, saw earlier Coach O is receiving the same base salary that Chad Morris is at Arkansas. That has to make Joe Oliva feel good about things. Yeah, you know, I think. Um, so, a couple of things. Number one, Arkansas's got a lot of money, um, they've got. Walmart money and Tyson Chicken money and Jerry Jones's money and FedEx money, and I say that often to people like me. FedEx is in Memphis. They are, but the the owner, CEO, founder, whatever FedEx is an Arkansas grad, so they contribute there too. Um, so uh, Arkansas has money to spend. That's one. Uh, two, they were trying to lure Chad Morris away from somewhere, so they had to make it enticing. Uh, and then three. LSU could afford to pay Ed Ogeron less because they were committing more to their coordinators, as we all know, but also because, quite honestly, I mean, they probably, they, not kind of, they did. They overpaid for Ed at the time. Like, if you were looking at what, mar- like, just strictly, like, economics, if you're looking at market value, they overpaid for him. I mean, could have got the guy for, for free, almost. Well, not free, but almost. Um, but, yeah, it's, this year is, last year, oh, this year, Proving to be a worthwhile investment for sure. Got to keep it going the next month. I, you know, the, y'all, I'll tell you this honestly, and I haven't mentioned this on air or anything. The one little bit of trepidation is, what if this is like another 2015, where LSU was number two in the first college football playoff rankings. They were undefeated. It was LSU and Bama. Um, you know, Fournette was, was going bonkers that year, and everyone had sort of engraved his name on the Heisman already. They get stonewalled against Bama. Carries over. They lose to Arkansas. They lose to Ole Miss. Um, you know they finish nine and three and go to the Texas Bowl. Um, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you know, but I guess part of me does wonder. Okay, what if you lose to Bama, and what if you do lose at A and M and you go nine and three? Mama. 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 <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um, you know, I don't like, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you put your hand on the stove and been burned before. So I'm just, you know. Anyway. Darren Pellegrin, good morning. Todd Landry, Mark Perron, good morning. Let's see. Joe says, I've been carb loading, doing light stretching all week. One more day of ice baths and I'll be ready. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be a long day of endurance for LSU fans that start early. Man, that can, there are a lot of times I remember when uh, you know, I was in my early 20s, recent grad, we'd go tailgate for LSU games and we'd get out there to our spot. At, we'd go drop you know, our tent and everything on Friday, kind of get our, you know, stake our claim, and we'd get out there Saturday before sunup, you know, 5.30, 6 a.m., whatever it was. You know, crack open your first beer at 6 a.m. And for a night game, you know, not only are you 
you're eating and drinking all day, but you're outside and you're moving around and you're lifting things and you're packing up and unpacking and setting up. Like it's a long day. I can remember a lot of times waking up on Sunday, like what did I do to myself? Like my body just ached. Like what did I do yesterday? <laughs> like did I play in the game? Um, those are long days, man. So rest up, LSU fans. Uh, Ronnie said, I did the Texas Tech Ole Miss Astros and LSU Miami in the same weekend. That's a cool weekend for sure. Uh, let's see, Brian, when you see a school like Temple having a quarterback perform like he did last night, it makes you wonder how and why LSU is so inept finding one. It's the style they play, man. Look, um, you could go into te- in almost any high school in Texas and find a program that's been running a 7-on-7 program for 20 years with spread concepts out of the shotgun. Look at who, just, all right, I'm going to mention this name. Go look at every quarterback Tom Herman has had. None of them are super impressive physically. At Houston, he took a two-star receiver, turned him into an all-conference quarterback. It's just it's this it's that system when you have a guy that can that's just effectively run that Mama. system forever, where they just hi shotgun, quick passes, timing routes, um, you know RPOs, the itsy bida. Come see daddy. Bless you. Bless you. Bye bye. Bye bye. What? Are you leaving? Where are you going? Okay. Well, he gone. He's just standing right there. All right now he's gone. He's taking a lap. Take a lap. Uh, Corey Landry, Adam Tower, Zach Otten, Stephen Bro, Michael Kivlin. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Amy Crane. Good morning. Craig Savoy. Let's see. Both UCF, ball UCF is ready for Bama. Going to hold them under a thousand on offense. <laughs> that would be so hideous, man. Oh my God. Dustin Russo. Good morning, Jeremy Wheeler. Let's see. Joe Campbell. Good morning from Germany, by way of Bunky, Louisiana. Look at you, Joe Campbell in Germany. Appreciate that, man. Uh, Jeremy said the Tigers are winning tomorrow night. Hope so, man. Would it wouldn't. Stun me if they won. Um, but until they figure out how to beat that team, man, I can't pick them to win it. Uh, Chris Merrill, good morning. Uh, let's see. Jamie Levine, how about Devin White rolled out in Mike's old trailer, released at halftime while the band plays neck? <laughs> you want to, they would just, the stadium would melt. The stadium would just disintegrate. Oh, you're Robert's over. Sorry, y'all. Drew's food's done. The episode with Robert ended. Hey, you want Robert? 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 Oh, I'm with you. He's, he's starting. He's starting to go. Robert? 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 All right. Uh, Armand Keller. Good morning. If LSU wins, does Lane Kiffin? Deserve or take any credit. Um, I'm not sure why, Armand. Sorry. Uh, this weather is awesome. Oh, it was so nice. I've been outside this morning. <laughs> Abilities. Abilities. More. More. Home Depot. Oh, hey yo. Hi. Down goes Frazier. No, bud. It's okay. We just knocked over the camera. No, buddy, it's okay. No, there's no reason to be upset. Now we get a great shot of the Boudreaux right there. What? Yeah, same as old brother Rich, same as gonna sing loving you. Loving you is easy because you're beautiful. <laughs> you wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi, look, there's Drew on the screen. I love you. 
Can you say hi to everybody this morning? Hey, nobody. Hey, hey. Shh, listen, 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 listen. It's okay. Hey, listen, listen, Drew, listen. I have to tell you something. Nobody wants to hear you fuss. So let's be a, let's be sweet and use our words. And in a little while, Mama is gonna come see you. And you go for a ride in Mama's car to. Hall de Ball. <laughs> what are we doing? The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Home Depot. Home Depot. Clap pans, clap pans for Home Depot. Home Depot is where we go. All right. Your foot wet. Right. Sure get wet. He fired up now. All right, we got him. We got him. Got him. All right, let's see. Uh, Heath Lanier, good morning. Uh, Craig Dugal, what time does pregame start? Five hours before kickoff. So, a 7 o'clock game. T-Bob and I are on at 2. Um, let's see. Brett Dykes, good morning. Uh, Brad Jean, Percy Johnson, Carlos Brown. The French Oaks. Forgive me, y'all. I know I'm a little late on the... Uh, Fresh Market, a little late on uh, Home, Depot. Home Depot on these comments. Derek said, I'll sit in for you for pregame sometime next year. I'd sacrifice <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're going to let you do that, Derek. I appreciate the offer, man. Uh, Eagle game day is a, uh, uh, a pretty big monster, man. Uh, let's see, Joshua Johnson, good morning. Let's see, this, the lead up to this feels like 03 Oklahoma with the experts acting like Bama as the 85 Bears. I think we win. <laughs> I'll give you a more recent one, Dax. It was the 2012 game. Um, uh, the difference I'll give you with 03 is o the 03 LSU defense was just it was just incredible. I mean those um, that that team nobody was scoring on that team. They, that defense was just people forget just how monstrous that team was. Um, I mean Chad Lavalle was unblockable. It's Spears and Hill as your ends. It's some veteran linebackers. Corey Webster, Travis Daniel at corner. You had LaRon Landry at safety. I mean, that defense was insane. Um, but the people, I keep bringing this up, man. People forget the 2012 game. I know, like, it's, it's funny to me how we lose perspective in time because that 2012 game was so close. But that 2012 Bama team had beaten LSU in, in 11 for the championship game and then had everybody back the next year. And they were steamrolling people the same way. And everyone said, like, that was the best team ever. Like, they were having the same conversation. Best team ever. Um, I remember RJ Bell at pregame.com. They put out, you know, the hypothetical odds if Alabama played the Chiefs. Um which was the best team and or the worst team in the NFL that year? It was like that's that's how the conversation got. And LSU had that team beaten, so out. And then they lost the next week to to Texas A&M and Johnny Manziel. So every team can lose, man. There's no question they can lose. It's just a you know just a lot of circumstances have to come together, man. Uh, Bama's got to be a little off, maybe play a little tight. The LSU's got to play play its best game, not turn it over. Yeah. Brian Robert, so many people hate on Mike D in the huddle, but that's my favorite hour of AFR each week. Hey, Brian, got to tell you a secret. All right. The so many people that hate on Mike D. Um, Mike D is the number one downloaded podcast on our station every week. Elma Duff. Elma Duff. Ralphie. Robert. Ralphie. Ralphie, Ralphie. That's you don't want Ralphie though. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Okay. Um, like literally now, Mike is Mike has been on my show every Thursday since we started in February of 2010. It is the most listened to hour of my show and by extension our station every single week, every week. So when you say Everyone in the huddle. Mama, really what that is, and this is why I don't really care. I, I just troll the huddle. It, like, you can't troll a troll, um, and I'm a troll. But 
the the huddle that you know, hates Mike D really what it is is literally fewer than 10 people that just flood it with comments every week. But what they don't understand realistically is, and this is the great irony of the situation, the way you sell ads on something like the huddle is by is impression based. So every time they post, like so if you notice on the huddle there's an ad, there are ads you know, embedded, right? Every so many posts, an ad fires. It triggers an ad to, to show up in the feed. So all of those people that are posting about how much they hate him, the irony is you're, supp- you're supporting it. Like it's a, it, so anyway, I I la- I legitimately laugh at those people. Like I, for me for me, I could literally never understand listening to something, watching something that you hate. Like. I wouldn't go watch a movie that I don't like. I wouldn't listen to music that I don't like. I don't understand if like if you gen, and this is this is uh, like this is commonplace in our industry. People will listen because they love something or they hate it, but it, it elicits a, an emotional response. That's why people listen to it, though. But just I'm just different in the sense that I could never listen to something I don't like. Um, so I know weird. So you, I think that was Brian who said it. Fear not, Brian. You are in the overwhelming majority of listeners that that love the Mike D Hour because it is the most listened to hour on our station every single week without exception. Uh, Paul Trosclair, good morning. Trey Moran, what's up? Uh, let's see, Dustin Roussel. If you if you end up 9-3 and three and bring in the top five recruiting class, keep the foot on the gas. You know what? Seriously, um, um I if L, let's hypothetical. Okay, I'll play the hypothetical. Let's say LSU loses to Bama and AM and they go nine and three. <clears throat> Considering where this team was projected, that's a hell of a season. Um a hell of a season. And at nine and three, I think you're getting into the sugar bowl. Um provided Georgia wins this week and is a one loss team gets into the playoff. I, I think or even if they don't, and Georgia goes sugar bowl, I think LSU would go Maybe Fiesta, probably against like UCF or the group of five team is. Um, I I don't think there's uh, Ole Miss in fourteen and fifteen got into the New Year six as a nine and three team. I, I think LSU would do the same. So nine and three, sign a top five class, go to a big time bowl game, sign a top yeah, and then next attach and uh, is your show over? And then next year, like I know we've talked about this before. But I think LSU, for all the people that have crapped on me for thinking this team was 7-5, and five, and part of that was schedule and all the questions they have, look at the schedule next year and everything LSU is coming back. I mean, you're going to lose Devin White and Greedy. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to lose Brissett um, and, and Foster Moreau and Brumfield. So, I mean, you're going to lose some, some seniors. But you're not, you're not going to, aside from Devin White and Greedy, you're not going to take that, like, just devastating personnel loss. Um, I mean, I, next year, I think LSU is going to be the, the team that's projected preseason double-digit wins. And it's like, if they can go on the road and beat Bama, it's playing for the title. Um, next, I mean, that they, they basically switch, you know, neutral with Miami for Texas. Um, the East crossover, I think they get Vanderbilt next year. Hang on. I think they get Vanderbilt uh, next year. Uh, 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 Hi, uh, Bubba. Uh, Hi, Drew. Uh, What's the mad? They do. They get Vanderbilt. So you're so you 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 swap Georgia for Vanderbilt uh, on the schedule next year. Yeah. Florida has to come here. Auburn has to come here. A and M has to come here. You do flip Miami for Texas, and that's a true rookie. But my point is, like, look, for all the reasons that everyone looked, and me included, looked at this schedule in the season, we're like, yeah, probably not going to go great. It all flips Home next Depot. year. Home Depot. Like, Ellis is going to be a front runner next year. <clears throat> Hi. I like your dinosaur jammies with footballs and little cars. You don't have, well, maybe you do have a poo poo. You don't have poo-poo. Mama has. Who? 
Roro house. You did go. You went to Roro's house for trick or treat. Mom, 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 mom's gonna be here in thirty-eight minutes. That's when she's gonna be here. The itsy bada. The itsy, the itsy bada. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain. Washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Dried up all the rain. You wanna play our game? <clears throat> Ready? <laughs> you don't have a poo poo, you big liar. Row oh, Row House. <clears throat> All right. Back to your comments. Uh, Jerry Reynolds, LSU will score the first points three to nothing. Well, Jerry, what if Bama gets the ball first and scores? Uh, with Chass, oh, that scrolled away. With Chass on missing the year, does that mean he'll stay two more years? That's a good question. You could, depending on how next year goes. But that's that's the other part. Like, you get Chass on back next year. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I'm not trying to talk about next year already. LSU got a ton to play for this year. But my point is, to the you know, to the question about 93 and all stuff, like, Every conversation about this year in the preseason flips next year because you have everything returning and an easier schedule. Mm -hmm. This year you had nothing returning and a hard schedule, which is why it's been super impressive. <clears throat> in large part, why it's been super impressive. You do have to replace Cole Tracy. Uh, let's see, Mark, good morning. Uh, man, look at that Weller Yum. Oh, yeah, I got Weller over there. That's special reserve. And I've got uh, Weller 12 over there. I need some Weller antique. Miss Taylor and Ethan, Ethan and Shabba. John Paul. Those are his friends at gymnastics on Saturday. Let's see. <laughs> Drew and Home Depot reminds me of Frank the Tank from old school. <laughs> uh, let's see. Craig Savoy, that's precious. You two together make my day a little better. Thank you, Craig. That's very, very sweet, man. Um, we blocked 12 from our collective memories. I get it. 03 lost to a so so Florida team. Uh, Sam, you know that, that, well, that was, that was, um, a, um, Ron Zook team. And the only score LSU had that day was a, was a punt return for a touchdown. That was the bigger problem, was LSU didn't score that day. It wasn't a defensive problem. Um, although they couldn't Mama. cover that tight end. Mama. <clears throat> Mama. Uh -huh. Craig Duga, Drew sounded like me when I found out my outdoor cat found my outdoor cat with a headless rat outside. <laughs> the hell does that mean, Craig? Uh, made Bad Bath and Beyond. I hope it's gonna be time. Uh, yeah, my Chiefs were sucky that year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Romeo was the coach. I think he was. Alan Dar. Good morning. Um, LSU will win. Put on your notes. Kyle Gallo, they have to get too uncomfortable, speed his clock up. I disagree, Kyle. I think if you play that game, you're playing into his hands. I think I think more than speeding up his clock and, and allowing him just to be athletic, I think you <clears throat> the way Lockitcher said it earlier this week is you rush to contain. Um, you rush and you create that pocket around him and you just don't let him get out of it. And make him maybe drop his eyes and then throw into really tight windows. I mean, you drop seven into coverage and make him, Mike, the way Mike Tilly says, make him throw through uh, through the branches. You know what I mean? Like a, a tree through the branches. What are you going? Okay. What are you doing? Why are you? What? I never know what he's doing in there. He's going to go play some <clears throat> The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Two, three, four. That's very good rhythm, Drew. Five, six. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay. 
Bye bye. Why are you hiding behind the bottle? Dad show. The bottles of Boudreaux. Dad show. What are you doing? Mama. Well, Mama's gonna be here in a little while. Mama's gonna come see you. Are you excited about that? Home Depot. And she will take you to Home Depot if you ask her nicely. <coughs> clap pans, clap pans for Home Depot. Home Depot is where we go. Buy some Boudreaux, by the way. I need to get by Calandros. I do. I need to go today. I need to get uh, get a celebratory bottle for tomorrow in the event that they win. Pop open a new bottle. Tramp is good morning. Preston Guy. Uh, oh, so I'm getting to the Mike D comments now. Chances Devin White wears the number seven jersey. 0. 0.0 infinity repeating. Um, I think that is a fan obsession that by and large is not a big deal. The whole Giles thing where in set, it's just not a big deal. Uh, Mark, is Nick Saban a Croatian-American? I have no idea, honestly. I don't know his background. Mark, will you be at NFL Game Day Sunday at 9 a.m.? I will not be, Mark. Um, Saturdays are a full, full day for me. Um, I get up with Drew on Sundays to let Erica sleep in. Uh, we go to church. I'll do morning scone. We'll go to church, and then we'll I'll spend the afternoon here with you know with family with Eric and Drew, so I can watch the game. At the, Drew, Drew usually takes his nap at three, so uh, I'll watch the game while he naps. Um, and then Sundays will be our time, man. Our little family time. Try to you got to you got to got to get family time when when we can, especially in the fall. So, let's see. Alan says, this dog hopes y'all wipe the floor with him tomorrow. I think everybody does, man. It's time they came down a notch or two. Uh, morning from San Diego. Thank you, Duran. Duran Linson. Linson. Very cool. Thanks for watching over there, man. Cassidy Russo, good morning. Mark, the Pelicans lose again last night on national TV. Yeah, man. Um, Mark, only 75 to go? 76 to go now? going to be all right. Check in with me again in, at Christmas. Uh, let's see. Turn up the show here. Gordy's voice. Me too. Uh, can't practice getting run over by a car. <laughs> that is a good Mike D line. All right, let's see. Saban wanted to kick ass. That's not like him to say that kind of stuff. It's true. Remember how earlier in the week we were talking about Burrow? Um, Burrow said, you know, nobody's scared of this game sort of thing. Um you know, if you're scared, don't come out the locker room. A lot of people perceive that as bulletin board material. And I said, look, Alabama's going to use it. Like, that will show up, you know, quote, tweeted and all and whatever. Um, and then Saban turns around and says the kick-ass line. Um, if they lose, if Alabama loses, uh, that's that's going to be a line that lingers forever. The I hope we kick ass, that's going to be a line that, that lingers forever. Out of context, but it will linger forever. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. Let's scroll through here. Uh, man, we've been going a while. Let's see. Uh, Sean, Sean Kelly, what's up, dude? Um, the radio voice of the Pelly, 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 Pelly. Um, check in with me in Christmas. Brian Robert, emotionally connected. Bullseating. Stephen Bro, Lady Miska. Oh, T Bob did it again. Mama. Stupid. Mama. Mama. Pa ha. Pa ha. Um. Devin White announced on a live stream he would be returning next year. Home Depot. No way, bro. He he went on like uh, Instagram Live. There's no way. I'll go check his Instagram whenever I hang up here. All right, y'all. Let me speed through the rest of these so we can get rolling through our day. Um, let's see. Remember, Boudreaux's Bloody Mary Mix Margarita Mix MorningScone.com for your daily email and a Locked On Pels your daily LSU podcast. Uh, hosted by yours truly. Brian said, uh, fear of LSU lose this game, emotionally disconnect the rest of the season. Um, kind of what happened in 2015, but I think they're better suited to handle that if it should happen, should they lose this game. Uh, do we get the running back Emory? Brian, I think so, man. Uh, Brian Rober asked about John Emory. I, 
at this point. I mean, you never know with high school kids and how it may go, but at this point, everything I've been told, I need to get John M right now. Uh, let's see. Are we witnessing a human sacrifice? <laughs> Rusty said a tall good morning. Uh, I hope we give two a poo poo. <laughs> I love how y'all incorporate Drew's words. Um, who's the guest picker? Patrick, I, uh, the whispers have been Bregman. I did ask, by the way, I did ask yesterday my guy who is uh, the, the one of the producers for game. He's the media uh, relations guy for, for game day. I said, who's the guest picker? He's like, uh, he said, still undecided. Um, I was like, man, you're a stone wall. You won't even tell me. But the, the I don't know definitively, but the whispers I heard yesterday were Bregman. Um, but I don't know. I don't know definitively. They're going to have a ton of people to choose from. Uh, Matthew, did you catch T-Bob's new stuff? I didn't. I, the song, I was doing this. So I, pe people don't believe me when I say I don't hear that. I don't, typically what I would hear... Um, because we replay it on Eagle Game Day. So um, normally I would hear it when I'm sitting in the studio watching that. Or on... So we used to bring Drew to physical therapy on every Friday. And it would alternate 8 and 8.30. Uh, I'm sorry, 8 and 8.45. Now we just go every other week at 8.45. So they scaled back his PT. So on the weeks when we would go for 8, I'd be in the car. Because he played at the end of the 7 o'clock hour. But at the end of the 7 o'clock hour, now I'm doing this. So I have not, I've not heard it, but I'll go, I'll go listen to it. Because last week nobody believed that I hadn't heard it when I when I was doing AFR, which I hadn't. Um, but you want more, Robert? Is Robert over? Robert, Robert. Okay, for the third time this morning, Robert. Oh, shirt fell down. Clap hands, clap hands for home. Oh. All right, y'all, we're about to wrap this up, man, so I can go uh, get Drew dressed for the day. i got to get rolling. Um, guest pickers, Fifth Ward Weeby. God, be so fun. Can you imagine Cole Tracy win the game with a walk-off? It'd be amazing. Uh, his dad's coming to town. I'll see, I'll, I will see the Tracys, Kent uh, Tracy tonight. Be at Rafino's for dinner. Great people. Uh, Rogers, that's a good question. Why is Decula starting? Um, I don't know that he's going to start this week, Rodgers. We'll see. I, I would not be surprised entirely if they started Adrian McGee. Um, he's just a little more athletic at right tackle, and, and Deculus has struggled this year. There's no question. Um, remember, it, it seems like forever ago, but Badara Traoro was actually starting uh, earlier in the year, and he couldn't hang, and it's why they put after McGee got hurt, Traoro went in. Traoro couldn't cut. It's why Deculus moved into right tackle, and Deculus just been was the better option than Traora. Um, but if McGee's back healthy, I think McGee plays right tackle. Um, Tyler, if LSU wins, I'm having a cigar. So will I. Is it in the shot? It's not in the shot. You boys got a little humor box, right? Well, let's see. Over there. Let's see if I'm pointing to it correctly. Yep, there. Humor box right there. Am I pointing to it? Yep, kind of pointing to it. Um, anyway, so I'll light up a stove with you. I'll do whiskey and wine outside, and I'll smoke a cigar and drink my whiskey. That'll be fun. Listen to the revelry. Um, let's see, Alton, my son Nicholas, who you said on air was the coolest eight-year-old in town, says LSU wins by a field goal. That a boy, Nicholas, coolest eight-year-old in town, coolest eight-year-old in town, Nicholas Humphrey. Book it. Um, this is what L what guys like Greedy Williams, Christopher Holt came to LSU for. Should be a great game. Hope you're right, man. Racy McMath, good move at tight end. See how, if he has an impact tomorrow. Foster's been healthy. You've seen less of Racy because Foster's been healthy. He was not healthy in the first month of the season. He had a knee injury. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Coming in from Austin. Thank you, Chad. Um, Jeffrey, who's the guest picker at 5 o'clock today? You will have to stay tuned to find out who Terrio has. I don't even know yet because... I mentioned this earlier. Terry was trying for George W. Bush. Uh, we had an in that it, we felt like it, he felt like it almost happened. Um, had a really good in. Um, but yesterday, the that got nixed earlier this this week. So Terry has been efforting. 
our like lock backup plan, like okay, if we need it is still superstar. Um the if um but the other ones that everyone we've mentioned have been like so we'll see. See if we can make it happen. Michael Buchanan, good morning from Atlanta. Need a Tiger visit in December? Yeah, you do, man. It's been too long. Uh, here's hoping you and Kalata drink uh, drink the drink of the victorious, indeed. If LSU wins tomorrow, unless if I go get something new at, new at Calandros today, I will, I, if LSU wins tomorrow, I will drink my Whistle Pig Boss Hog. That's my $500 bottle over there. I'll drink that tomorrow if they win. Um... Sounds like Drew is saying more T-Bob, not Home Depot. No, he's saying Home Depot. He's not saying T-Bob. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we're at the end. What's up, Scone? Late to the party. What's up, Terrell? Travis, good morning. Um, Terrell, man, I hope we're doing a victorious whiskey and wine. Petey Kern, what's up? Just about to get out of here. Oh, there's one more about Drew School. Uh, how was the interview for Drew School? Jason, thanks for asking, man. It went well. Um, looks like that's going to happen next Friday. Fall, so looks like Drew's gonna have a new school, man, or a school. Uh, let's see, Heath, Matt, do you feel more confident about our offensive game plan this year than years past? A million percent. Uh, Shelly Malasa, what's up, dude? I'll see you tonight. Shelly Malasa at Rafino's. What a night this! Gonna, what a night it's gonna be at Rafino's, man. Uh, Ruffin was running through yesterday with us, some of the, uh, the the guests that they'll have in there tonight at Rafino's. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, we'll be there. Looking forward to it. If y'all are there, I'll let you buy me a drink. Let's see. Recommend a great stogie for the post game. I don't know, Terrell man. That's not really my my thing. I, you know, I get I got a box of Cohibas. So like, you know, if I have family, whatever, go on a cruise, go out of town, like, hey, buy me a box of Cohibas, give money, whatever, and I keep them in the humidor. So, but as far as, I don't know, man. Um, sorry. Um. Any truth to the rumor about why people keep asking about Devin White wearing number seven? Um, Matt, is Elijah Craig special reserve any good, dude? I don't know about special reserve. This is a small batch. Cost you about $28. For the value, this might be the best thing I have in my bar. For the value. 28 bucks for that. I can drink that all day. <clears throat> Elijah Craig's good, y'all. Um, uh, let's see. All right. Going to get out of here. Cohibas of the Bonnie. Yeah, All right. That's going to do it. Boudreaux's Bloody Mary Mix Margarita Mix. If you're not in town, boudreauxmix.com. If where you shop, they don't have Boudreaux's, go to the manager of the store. Shake them vigorously and say, why don't you carry Boudreaux's? They should. Uh, you can order it online, boudreauxmix.com. My cousin from Arkansas actually posted a picture the other day of him with his two Boudreaux's bottles that he ordered from boudreauxmix.com. Um, please click on the Boudreaux's link at the top of this post. Like their page. That would be a huge help. Uh, Morningscone.com to sign up for your daily email. Uh, Locked on LSU, daily LSU podcast hosted by yours truly. Please subscribe. And today, AFR, fired up for it. Drew, tell everybody bye. Tell everybody bye. Say bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye.